Happy New Year 2024 on national issues to tongues ku ngine. What I would like want to tell you as an economist we are actually on the right path as an economy. We know it is a very difficult time. It is the worst. We had only two options. We are to go and crash or we are to make painful decisions at this time. Kenya is actually on a very slippery path. If the president had not taken the chances that he is doing, we are importing toothpicks. Ile tunatumia hapa saa hii kwa hii kitu kwa hii chere. We are importing toothpicks. We are importing hata politi ya kupelekea mkate. We are reporting almost virtually every single thing in this country. Kila kitu we are reporting. Okay, you look at around yourself, even the clothes that you are wearing. Okay, and then around yourself, everything you are reporting. And we are saying we are an economy. And we are saying we have unemployed young people. The president has said he wants to do a revolution. And this is our governors, we are part of that revolution. He has told us, do we continue borrowing and crash the economy? Or we start turning it around and industrialize? Tunaanza sahi ata nandi county hapa industrial park inaanza wasigishu industrial park inaanza elgiwe marakwet industrial park inaanza anytime very soon we will start manufacturing and we will be proud Kenyans employing our young people instead of us to pick a shere tutapiga shere na tuzani in 1978 watu walikuwa na piga shere China anda mtu walikuwa na ito Mao Zedong but there is a new prime minister who came who was called Deng Xiaoping akafika akaambia watu wangu tukiendelea shere tutakwisha what they decided they made painful decisions and they started industrializing china by 1985 china was starting to rise by 91 it was among the fastest and by 2023 china is almost overtaking every economy in the world because they made one painful decision and it has paid off we have to have this painful moment for just few months and actually take Kenya to the right path. Mungu wa walinde na wabariki tena. Wawa tumpigia makofi, tafadhali tumpigia makofi. Bas, kwa hii kazi ya mea.